was really expecting to run into some more challenging opponents in the previous two tournaments. I should not be more interested in getting a fight that feels pretty even against the AI than I am with the fact that our team has legitimately earned two trophies so far. Uh, you'd think I'd be more proud of my guys. Got to admit, I like the nicknames Chokma and Kemu. The rest feel pretty ignorable, though, and I have the feeling that we're not going to see both of the ones that uh, caught my eye out there when the battle actually starts. Eh. Ah, well, we'll see. We're ready to roll! Pokemon Tournament Poke Cup Ultra Ball! The excitement continues to build! Well, he's Pokemon certainly got thick enough arms to choke his mother. Commence. Too bad it doesn't matter how thick your arms are when you're in a match against a psychic. A psychic flag! Mighty blow to the word go! Bacon down! You'd think the announcer would have some voice lines for moments for a one-sided takedown that's no surprise. Instead, he's shocked by absolutely everything. Sure, I appreciate his enthusiasm, but this is the third tournament we've done in a row against the same batch of people. I would think he would find things about as predictable as I do by this point. How's that? Pokemon Sorry, Kemu, you had just as much of a chance here as Chokma. And I'm honestly surprised that both of you ended up in this fight. I'm not even sure why I don't like the nicknames of the other Pokemon on that team when they all have the same naming scheme. The remaining Pokemon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one sided. As it always is in the first round. And that makes 137 for Neo, and 914 for the team as a whole. And there goes the battle! Poor Pastor didn't even manage to land a single hit. Sure, we've seen that in numerous battles over the course of this LP, but it's still annoying to see this far in. Kind of hoping we see Electrace in this fight, but I'm kind of disappointed that the only real threat in these matches in this third tournament so far seem to be a single hostile Pokémon that's four levels higher than us instead of just one. Yeah. Now. Vigorous attack. Pokemon choice. Well, I suppose that wasn't too bad since uh, Vile Place got to shoot back. And that was Neo's strongest attack that he survived, despite it being super effective. Very impressive. What now? Good hit! I somehow doubt that Neo is going to get too many more wins in this particular match. The next Pokémon is being prepped. Oh, it's righteous! Right, a speed demon against a Pokémon who's crippled. How will the type difference affect that? What next? A decent hit! Why not use Thunder against us? It's not like we'd resist it, or that Seismic Toss is an especially good physical attack. Neither one is conceding an Right, too much to hope that Neo would last long enough for a second shot, but at least we're taking casualties in the second round of this tournament. Sorry, Neo, but my search for a worthy opponent meant you had to go down since you went into that battle first. Oh, it's Nido King! 
This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. Here's a Pokemon. Okay, what would he think would survive fighting a Nido King oh, if he's right, you can't? Sworn victory bell was pot poison. The it's gonna make the outcome more clear since we got two free shots on one Pokemon and he only has one injured, uh, one left. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. We're down to the last Pokemon. The remaining Pokémon stock is 2 to 1. The tense battle continues. The tense battle ends, you what mean? Time? Kinda surprised that Electrace wasn't in the lineup for this match. There it goes. That's the weak spot. Well, that was a more interesting fight than we've had in a long time. At the very least, it feels like we earned that win instead of it being practically handed to us. Though I would have appreciated it if our opponent didn't make such an odd switching mistake there. Ah, so his drowsy finally became a hypno. And he's got two aces he could throw at us. This certainly looks interesting. The upcoming battles look promising. We're into round three. Yeah, wasn't in the mood for another Neo versus another psychic opening. They strike fighting poses. Oh, with a and apparently they aren't in the mood to go water serpent to mine oh, right now. Here's the first move. Got to admit, that was one of the best switches we've They're seen in this LP. They go into battle poses. Understandable, since I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of a surfer ice beam either in his That's ethereal shoes. Falling asleep is going to make this a one-sided fight. Oh, I don't know. Depending on metronome, is just putting your victory into a lottery, and it's not like Takanabori is going to be staying asleep indefinitely here. Are flying in this battle. What's that? It didn't work. Ah! There, it's a hit. Okay, that hit did a lot less damage than I was expecting. But it's not like we were especially hurt either. Oh, please don't tell me the person who's gonna That's kick our ass is gonna just keep putting us to sleep and stalling for time here. So, he's just gonna keep putting us to sleep and using metronome, huh? I'm sorry, but that seems more annoying than exciting to me. can't really tell if that was more or less powerful than Surf, especially since that ghost upped his defense in the previous turn. They strike fighting poses. What's that? The moon failed to glitch. Well, I'd say he's had more than enough sleep for one battle. Yeah, it's a hit! There's a big difference in HP. 
Okay, I'll just put my pen ready to make another mark on Takanabori's scorecard. And of course he falls asleep just before that, just because I got a little cocky there. This matchup has become one sight. No, it's still a three on three. What now? How can anyone consider this to be an exciting battle? Sure, this bit of one-on-one -on -one is lasting longer than anything else we've seen in Stadium, but still. Why the hell didn't he use Tree Meter all the other times we were asleep, instead of using frickin' Metronome? Seriously, it seems even dumber than usual for the crowd to be cheering over this, when one of the participants has spent most of this match asleep. And Takanapori finally finishes the Gengar that stalled us out for so long. It certainly took long enough to deal with that first one. Of course, it's a Pokemon we started this battle looking at that didn't want any part of Takanabori in the first place. Okay! <laughs> I really wasn't expecting to be bitch slapped into unconsciousness by a psychic. Not your fault there, Taki. For one on one so far in this battle, that's certainly an interesting way to handle things here. Then why the hell did they pull out Mr. Mime if he could pull that out of his hat? Maybe not the best idea to use a poison type against a psychic, but I'm sure we're going to attack first here. Right, time to see who the third member of the enemy team is. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Oh, it's gone. Ah, guess it's time for Koaku to start the spraying bubble Pokemon beams. Two to one. The tenth battle continues. There's the attack. Yeah, this pedal is in the bag now, but it was certainly up in the air longer than any of the others so far. Definitely like how tough the third battle was, and I somehow doubt we're gonna make it to the eighth one. Right, Phyllis, it's time for you to get some more on your card. I keep saying it, but it's a real shame that I've never gotten around to having a star you or star me on any of the teams I've ever had over the years. Bloody hell, though. Double team? An evasive move that's become almost a meme for how unfairly effective it is compared to every other stat increasing move. Uh, we're definitely facing some tougher ones in this tournament, that's for sure. It's concentrating on its state. There's the attack! That one hurt! Well, I suppose it doesn't matter how evasive the other guy is, if all you need is one lucky hit to take him down. Oh, 
with Dugong. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. What now? Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. Well, at least this one was somehow defensive enough to survive Major despite being a critical a and super effective attack. Fireworks are flying in this battle. Razor Leaf Flurry! But that doesn't change the fact that we've got more than enough ammo to take the poor guy down with ease. Kinda disappointed with the fact that this battle is definitely feeling easier than the previous one. Oh, it's stolen! The remaining Pokémon count is 3 to 1. The battle has become one-sided. Savage attack! Whoa! That's tough! Yeah, this battle was one-sided the moment that Phyllis took to the field, because they just didn't have an answer for him. Not even the slightest scratch to us in that round. I'm sorry, but some of these Pokémon don't even fit the theme of being supernatural enough to be a medium's choice. But I suppose not sticking to the theme that much will make this battle more interesting than the other ones so far. Okay, this is certainly the first time I can remember clearing the three after uh, choosing them. Shame I don't remember my exact thought process as I was going through this, because considering how long I take to decide who goes into battle and in what order, it feels like a pretty important part of what's going on uh, in the stadium section of uh, the LP. Well, Earthquake should solve this one in a hurry. Now. Okay, so we're dealing with another Pokémon that wants to focus on giving us status effects. Credit where it's due, if it was just a matter of throwing devastating attacks, I'm pretty sure I would have had the edge and won with ease. But this puts things more into the air. It shook off its confusion! Earthquake! Okay, Kohaku's in worse shape than I was expecting, but he still managed to get the first win of the match. He's pretty injured, though. I somehow doubt he's gonna last uh, for the entire match. Oh, it's money! It has to make up for lost ground. How will the Well, that's gonna be tough since Earthquake and Bubble Beam will do quite a bit to the bastard. It's mostly a question of who gets to strike first, and apparently Kohaku has the first shot. How's that? Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon shot! Huh. Kind of a shame since we don't see Magmars that often, but it's his fault for sending someone that weak to such a powerful ground move that he knew we had after we took out that Gengar. And it looks like Earthquake is coming out yet again to deal with this squid! The battle has become one-sided. On it's second thought, time for Phyllis over. to finish things off. Here's a Pokemon chain. Oh, it's Venusaur! What's that? The attack wasn't effective. Yeah. Pretty sure the water typing would have cancelled out the poison battle? type's weakness to ground. Fireworks are flying in this battle! Oh, a horrible freak! It's 
defense is down. Oh dear. Those bloody status effects are grinding me down more than I was open. Number one is conceding an inch. What's this? Yeah, it's working. You've got to be kidding me. That's what I get for just looking at the type effectiveness and thinking that was all we needed to crush this tentacle. Dear God! Dear God! Eh. Takanabori, please don't go down due to smacking yourself in the face here. We want to take this guy down, not to go for a three Pokemon down to his last guy. What now? Its defense is done. What'll it do? A decent hit! Less than I'd hoped, and the fact the that we're slower means the flinch chance doesn't time. mean anything. Now. What's that? It's confused! What's this? There, it's a hit! What a furious battle! Combatants face each other. What now? It's defense is down. You've gotta be kidding me even more! He was down to his last Pokemon, and we're essentially Bark losing because he had a string of luck. What'll it do? Good hit. It shook off its confusion. What's that? Yeah. So close, but not what we needed to win. Sorry, Taki. Looks like we're done here, and it's not like Kohaku is going to be able to do anything in his condition if this guy was able to move faster than Phyllis. I wanted a worthy opponent who could take us down, and I found a worthy opponent who took us down. Rather convincingly. The medium has very effectively prevented us from winning the third tournament trophy, and it's time for us to exit this tournament and finally get around to dealing with the Elite Four. I'll decide later if I'm going to go through the Gym Leader Castle later or just end it on beating the Elite Four. Since this has been a long LP. Okay. As much as I want to just gripe about the fact that that was purely luck that got us beaten, it's not like he cheated or anything. So it's a legitimate win for uh, the medium. At least I assume the medium is a him here. It's not like... Uh, we're seeing any game sprites that actually show a gender here. 